Hi everyone, so it's already September and if you've been following me on my YouTube channel for quite some time, you would have known that by September I would start talking about makeup brushes, mostly uh, because it's supposed to be the month that the brush festival is celebrated in Kumano in Hiroshima, Japan. But um, I think the celebrations this year is going to be cancelled yet again. And although with travel restrictions, even if um, the brush festival, the Fudematsuri was going to happen this year, I don't think I would go because the travel restrictions to Japan is a little bit um it's quite difficult and um they can, there's so much room for misunderstanding with the rules that I just like you know said, said to myself that if ever they would lift up the travel restrictions um I think I'm gonna defer my visit to the brush festival for next year and true enough um because I posted a reel on my Instagram page like you know with a dangling um food keychain and like you know so it created a little bit of some conversation about um like you know the brush facilities being cancelled yada yada so I actually went to the food Matsuri website and it was actually stated there that it was cancelled this year so I just didn't know the details but Sonia G brushes actually commented on my uh, reel post because one of my friends here brush junkie um and he asked that question and she did confirm it and it actually caught everyone by surprise um, because a lot of the people were already doing their own like you know a lot of the brands were already doing their preparations and it just canceled last minute so um, I do hope though that there would be some virtual celebrations this year and we can go and um, see what they're doing on their own uh, YouTube channel. Anywho for today's video I'm going to be talking about the latest brushes that I purchased and I'm going to add to my brush collection and it is actually these eyeshadow brushes from the future series uh, Bicido. So it's spelled as F-U-T-U-R. So I don't know if you're pronouncing it as Futur or Future. But um, I guess that's a very apt brand name for this brush line, Future, because all the brushes um, here have brush heads made of uh, PBT. So that's made of nylon. So I think that's going to be the future of like most makeup brushes um, in the next coming years wherein you'll be seeing a lot of synthetic fibers on brush heads or like a mix of natural and synthetic fibers. So um, yeah, so I think I've talked about, I have had some interest with the Futur series um, for quite some time. I think I did a vlog one time about, you know, like come window shop with me and I was actually discussing uh, purchasing these, whoops, these future series brushes from Biciodo. So um, I have here a total of six brushes, eyeshadow brushes, and the main reason why I didn't purchase any of the powder brushes and the foundation brushes is because um, it wasn't at the top of my priority list. But I hope in the future um, I'm going to get those. But for now, we'll be talking about these brushes that I have with me. I purchased my Biciodo future series brushes off of FudaBeauty.com. So if you guys are interested, go check that out i'm gonna put links down on the description box so that you can like you know you can go at your own convenience now all of these brushes arrive in this very nice box here at these very sturdy and it had actually like you know um air bags inside to protect it while it was being shipped so that actually is quite amazing and all the brushes came in their own packaging so they all came in a packaging like this and um like, you know, so it's very nice. You have the Sakura print here and you have like ball prints here, which is kind of cute. And um, Bisudo, by the way, is not a Kumano Fude brand, although it is a Fude brand, but it is actually based in Osaka. And like, you know, if you are like familiar with the uh, um, Kumano Fude brushes, you would get um, like a stamp here or like a Kumano Fude label and you actually don't get that here with a Bisudo brushes. So although here you can say that it's still made in Japan and then like you know it will tell you what type of brush is inside the packaging and um, it also gives you like you know if you want to go and contact um, um, Bisudo, you can go to their own website here if you want to. Now one thing that I do appreciate about this is that they actually gave each brush their own um, brush guard. So let me just try to remove it from this packaging. So this is the brush guard for the lip brush. So let me just get the lip brush and I'm just going to slide it Okay, so I inserted it wrongly, so it actually goes here under. So I'm just going to insert the brush head here. 
So isn't that so cute? So at least, um, like, you know, for the price of each of these, like, you know, eyeshadow brushes, they're very, very affordable, I have to say. Like, they're very, very affordable. And because of um, the free brush guard that you got with this purchase, these brushes are kind of like, you know, they could be like a good companion for you when um, you are going to be traveling because at least this will be safe inside your bag, you know, saving the brush head tips. Because one thing that happens when you are like, you know traveling around or you're not storing your synthetic brush heads properly they tend to be bent out of shape and sometimes they can break so um it actually is also a good idea to store your synthetic brush heads properly and i'm actually quite happy that i have brush guards for each individual brush that i have with them today so i have here six um eyeshadow brushes so this is how it looks like on the palm of my hand. As you guys can see, they're very, very small in terms of brush length. And we can see that the there are different textures on the handles of each individual brush. And um, that's because this is actually made of wood. So um, they're still very, very light. I don't feel any like you know, weight to them, which is actually understandable because after all, the brush sheds are very, very small. And again, they're made of synthetic brushes. And the ferrule here is actually coated with silver. It looks very, very beautiful, and I love how reflective it is. And it's actually double crimped, so it's quite secure. And also one thing that I do appreciate about these brushes is that um, they are actually labeled individually at the back of the brush handle, which is so great because I don't think I have the ability to remember each and every brush name <laughs> that I have in my hands today. Now, don't think that this brush handle here is bottom heavy because of the thickness and roundness here at the very base of the brush handle. But truthfully, there is a very even amount of weight distribution along the entire brush length because the weight of the ferrule and the brush head is actually off set by the roundness and the thickness at the bottom of the handles here. So let's go through these brushes one by one so that you guys can see uh, the type of brushes that I have with me. And the first brush that I have here is the, as you guys can see, a blending brush. So this is called the FUBL brush. So this is the blending brush. Now I do have to say the brush head here is very, very soft and it has a rounded shape and it's actually quite long, longer than I anticipated it to be. But anyway, so next what we have here is the FUM brush. So this is the mascara wand brush. So I like the wand here wherein you have shorter bristles here at the end of the brush head and then you have longer bristles as you near the ferrule. So I'm quite interested to actually play around with this. Okay, next what I have here are the Futur um, eyeshadow brushes. So I have two here. Now I actually made a mistake when I was ordering this at FutaBeauty.com because when it was like, you know, on the web page, um, the F-U-E-S brush was actually on top of the F-U um, eyeliner brush. So that's the F-U-E-L brush. And um, like, you know, because I'm dyslexic and sometimes I have a little bit of like, you know, ADHD that I just like, you know, click so fast without actually like, you know, looking where my cursor has actually landed on the screen page. But um, anyway, so I actually accidentally ordered two eyeshadow brushes, which in hindsight is okay with me, but um, I'll get into the reasons a little bit later when we try this. But uh, yeah, so hopefully in the future, um, when I order again some brushes from the Future series from Bicido uh, via Fuda Beauty, I might as well get the eyeliner brush. But today, well, I'm just going to be sticking to these two. Now these two brush heads have a very typical, like, you know, flat paddle-like brush head shape. And then um, I like the way that it curves into a very nice, like, you know, tip, like a half moon tip. I'm sure it's going to be very useful for me because um, basically when I purchase synthetic brushes, what I use them for is basically a laid-on brush. Okay, next what we have here is a Biciodo FUSM brush. So this is the smudger brush. Now, I love smudger brushes because um, they're very essential in my makeup routine and especially when I'm applying um, like, you know, eyeliner. And with um, my workload, um, today, like, you know, just basing on how, like, it has changed, I'm doing a lot more um, faces when I'm doing makeup, especially at the studio. So I really do need more than one brush because I can't use one uh, smudger brush for, like, you know, three people. So again, this is just for cleanliness. 
Now I like the general shape of the brush head here. It's rounded and as we put it on the side, we can see that the belly is quite full. And I like the shape as at the tips. It's also very, very like, it looks like a crescent moon. Very nice. Okay, next what I have here is the F-U-E-B brush and this is the eyebrow brush. Now, um, I love the way that it tapers here and I love how thin the tips are. So this will really work in getting into like, you know, between the hairs of the um, eyebrows. So that would be very, very great. And also um, one thing, um, I do like how thin the brush head is. So this can be actually very useful when I'm creating eyeliner looks on the eyes because after all, I forgot to purchase that <laughs> eyeliner brush. But this will do um, in place of that. Okay, next what we have here is the BCRDO FU. L brush so this is the lip brush now I do love the brush head here it's a rectangular shape and I love the edge here at the tip and I do love having lip brushes like this because um, this just really gets into like you know the edges of your lip very very nice and also one other thing you can also use this for concealer application eyeshadow highlighter whatever that you want to especially if you want to apply them in very very small spaces on the face so again um, if you've been with me uh, for these past few years you would know that when i buy brushes i try to use them in multiple ways so yes the future brushes from bishido are actually very very short and they're very very small so for comparison i'm just gonna lay them here on my table so that you guys can see it so i'm gonna put these two brushes here and then the two eyeshadow brushes here and then i'm gonna put the rest here on this side okay I'm trying to line them up as nice as possible so that they all look like you know straight and just for reference this is the palm of my hand so that is at least like you know six and a half inches long and this is the a length of one brush so just for comparison I'm gonna put beside some brushes from the Sonia G Mini Kiyaki set so as you guys can see they almost have the same total brush length it also gives you an idea, an idea of how small um, the Bishudo Future Series brushes are. So this is my Chikohodo PS4 brush, one of my favorite eyeshadow brushes. And this is a Chikohodo F06 brush. And this is a Hakuhodo S132 brush. Okay, here on the other side, this is a Chikohodo F08 brush. And then I'm also going to be putting in the RSL4 brush. So. Um, also, just you know, for reference, this is um, one of the um, angled eyebrow brushes that I have from Hakuhodo. So now that all of these brushes are lined up, you guys have an idea on how short the total brush length is of the BCO Future Series brushes. And if you're someone who likes, like, you know, shorter handled um, eyeshadow brushes, this is um, it's it's a very comfortable. Um, brush to grip on your fingers and um, if you are someone who actually prefers to have longer handle that like, you know brushes um, at least seeing this side by side with a much more like you know regular size eyeshadow brush can give you an idea if it will work for you or not so again these are just like you know our own personal preferences Okay, now for comparison, let me get the um, eyebrow brush from the Futur series. And I'm just going to compare it to this Hakuhodo angled um, eyebrow brush as well so that you guys can see the difference in like, you know, the length of the brush head and also like, you know, the fullness of the belly. And then like, you know, they're quite, they're angled almost the same. But the Futur series eyeshadow from Bushido is almost half the size of this eyebrow brush from Hakuhodo. Okay, next I'm going to be picking up these two eyeshadow brushes from the Future series. Um, I do love the um, brush head design here. Um, it reminds me of like you, you know, so those very traditional types of like, you know, eyeshadow brushes in terms of brush head shape. So in comparison to the S132, as you guys can see here, they almost have the same brush head length. Very pretty. And then if we just turn them to the side, they almost have the same fullness at the belly. And also like, you know, here in terms of the tips of the brush head, um, they have this very nice, like, you know, crescent design, like, you know, rounded shape. So it's like a 
paddle like brush head with a rounded tip and um, it, it's just very reminiscent of like you know my older brushes from like 15 years ago in terms of the like you know fullness of the belly and also the brush head design so um this is going to be great if i just want to lay down product on the eyes or maybe as concealer and even like you know as a lipstick brush so again multi-use brushes is always the norm for me okay next what i have here are these two like you know blending brushes one is from the kayaki set of sanya g and um, in comparison to the bcu do blending brush we can actually see how um long the bcu do blending brush actually is so let me just like you know lay it here on my palm properly and i'm gonna lay the crease brush from the mini kayaki set right beside it and then this is one of the units crease brushes or blending brushes that i also use so that you know you just have an idea on how long the bcudo blending brush head is and again for comparison this is um the sonia g detail pro so um the bcudo blending brush here is actually has a very long like, you know, the brush head has, a, has very long bristles. Okay, so I'm going to put the two natural bristle brushes to the side. And I'm just going to compare these two brush heads together. So you guys can see how soft the FUBL brush is in comparison to that of the units brush that I have here. Um, there's some resiliency to them, but they're actually very, very soft. They feel very nice on the palm of my hand. Um, but, they, you know, with a brush head like this, wherein it's quite long, um, it can either work to my advantage or not because like you know as a blending brush um, Sometimes if a bristle is just too long You do not have a lot of resiliency to it and you might have difficulty blending in very like you know pigmented or heavy formulas of eyeshadow or even like um, like you know concealer or um, like you know foundation or even highlighter But um, let's try to see how well this will work a little bit later. Okay. Okay, so this is the mascara brush, very typical, and the lip brush, I'm going to put that aside. Okay, and now here, I'm just going to be talking about the smudger brushes. So the smudger brush here in comparison to the F08 brush. Now, the BCUDO smudger brush is longer um, in comparison in terms of the brush head length crosswise of the F08 brush. And then the F08 has a much more square um, brush tip while the FUSM brush is actually rounder which is almost similar to like the um, Chikahodo R-SL4 brush but in terms of brush head length um, the FUSM brush actually like you know tapers into a much more um, finer point or thinner point than these two brushes that I'm comparing it to and um, again just for another comparison this is the like you know definer brush from the Chikohodo 2021 Soiree 3 piece set and we can just see that um, the, this Chikohodo definer brush has much more longer bristles in comparison to that of the FUSM brush. So. All right, so let's get to know these brushes one by one. Although I'm sure uh, I'm not going to be very critical on them because the thing with me is if I have synthetic haired makeup brushes, I always use them to lay down products, may it be cream, liquid, um, powders, not so much because the thing that I have noticed with synthetic haired um, makeup brushes is that they disturb a lot of the powder and I get you, that's the reason why you get a lot of fallout not only upon application of the eyes but also like, you know the, you get so much product disturbance uh, with powder products from the pan so um, that to me is a waste of powder products so that's why when I am using a lot of powder products I tend to use natural hair bristle brushes so that's the thing with me anyway so I have here the eyeshadow brushes so I'm gonna use one only because the other one I think we can also use like for concealer so let's do concealer first okay hang on okay so I have here my um, radiant creamy concealer from NARS this is always one of my go-to and see it here at the back of my hand and let's just pick up some of that oh wow it does spread it evenly very nice way that it just like you know spreads the product at the back of my hand and let me just try to apply it here 
okay so it does deliver like a very like you know strong amount of coloration on the eye and let me just get the blending brush here and let's try to see if it will work if it does blend it out yeah it's actually e able to blend out the product I'm actually quite surprised with that and I don't really see a lot of streaking but then again it was just a very thin layer of product on okay let's be more generous now Okay, so the brush head of the Bisudo Futur series is actually very, very soft. So if you have very heavy liquid products, may it be like, you know, concealers or maybe like, you know, even eyeshadows, it's going to take some time for you to spread it. So if you're someone who's always in the go, just be careful when you're using this for like, you know, eyeshadows or things like that because I do see that it's taking so much time for the blending brush to blend out this concealer product. You'll also need time to blend out liquid eyeshadows. But then again, um, I can actually see that it's actually able to blend out the product extremely well here in my under eye area and it's actually able to thin out the product. So um that really helps when you're building the coverage like you know just adding small thin layers and blending it out so although it's very very soft as you guys can see here but it does do the job of just like you know blending it out and spreading out the product but i think if you have like you know heavier creams this might just be too soft for that like you know to blend out all right, now let's move on to eyeshadow and I'm going to be applying this um, Chanel Premier Lac on this eye. And the reason why I'm transferring here is because um, the I'm using I'm using artificial light today because the weather has been so bad here. It's been very cloudy, so that's why I'm shooting at this angle in my office. But anyway, so um, the reason why I'm um, sh applying product on this part of my face from now on is because we just have you like as a viewer will have a much more nicer view without the shadow being like you know produced by applying makeup on this side of my face all right so i am just like you know patting the ombre premier lac of chanel here all over my eyelid and it really does the job you know for sure and then you're also able to blend this out very nicely and I'm just trying to see if it's um, creating any fallout because that's also one thing that I would notice when you're using like you no know, synthetic hair bristle brushes because they're much more stronger. They're actually able to flick out a lot of those shimmers from your eyeshadows and they also cause a lot of fallout. So um, that's I'm also very careful when I am using these types of brushes with um, eyeshadow formulas like that. So, but I don't necessarily use them to blend out because that for sure will create a lot of fallout here on my upper cheeks. Okay, so I'm just patting this in. It actually does apply a very well balanced amount of product on the eyelid. Not so bad. I'm so happy with that. Let me just apply a little bit of that here. Because um, like, you know, in fairness to the brush head of the Bicido, um FUES brush because it's a very like you know it's it's designed the traditional way wherein when I say traditional think of eye makeup brushes 15 years ago they were all designed like this they were very very flat paddle like design and they were not very full at the belly here so um at least with this type of brush heads you can actually like you know apply color here along your lower lash line and you're also actually able to blend it out fairly well so that's actually very very nice okay let's play around with more so i have here my lisa eldridge um liquid eyeshadow so this is in bianca so with the same brush i'm just picking up and i'm just laying it here in the middle of my eye okay so that's actually able to layer product extremely well on the skin and I don't see any fallout at all being made by this brush on this eyeshadow product. Hmm, I'm quite happy with that. Very nice. Okay, so since we're playing around here, um, this is my Chanel liquid eyeshadow. And I'm getting the blending brush here. And I'm just loading the product here on the tip of the brush head, as you guys can see. And um, 
I can see that it's not picking up the product evenly, which is understandable because it's a very long bristled brush head. But I'm just going to be very careful where I lay this and let's just see if it's actually able to apply and to blend out color here onto my crease but i have to say though that now that i'm feeling it as i'm doing this it does actually like you know sit very well into my um, socket line as you guys can see here and it's actually able to blend out the product quite nicely i'm actually quite surprised at that but then again um this liquid eyeshadow from Chanel has a lot of shimmer in it, so um, it's very forgiving when it's blending it out. And for a synthetic bristled eyeshadow brush, I do have to say that it doesn't feel prickly at all. It feels very comfortable to use on the eyes. I don't feel any prickling sensation. I don't feel any sharpness, and I don't feel um, I don't feel any sort of like being uncomfortable of using it on my eyelid so which is actually quite a surprise because um, sometimes there are some synthetic brushes out there in the market when they are not well made they actually hurt but with this one it's actually um it's very very soft and it's actually very very comfortable and then i do remember um, on the description for the future series brushes is that they were actually like you know made to mimic how natural hair bristle brushes um, actually work or deliver pigment into the eyelid. Okay, so um, I do have to say though that despite on how long the bristle is of the FU, um, what's the name of this? The FUBL brush, it's actually able to blend out liquid eyeshadows quite nicely. And again, look at that. I used the color black. It's actually also able to apply like a very nice definition of color on my crease. So that just really helps to like, you know, elevate my eye shape. And um, I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I wasn't expecting that to happen with this brush head, but I'm so happy with that because like, you know, when I was looking at this and I was feeling it, like, you know, I was comparing it to the other brushes on my, um, like, you know, other synthetic brushes in my collection. I really thought like, oh, I think because it's just way too long, I think I can only use this to apply highlighter on the top of my cheeks or even on my brow bone. But um, because I have an eyeshadow here, we're going to try that another day. And the reason why I said that is because, um, like, you know, I have a few synthetic brushes here and most of the synthetic brushes that I use are the unit brushes. And um, I don't really like how these units, like, you know, blending brushes are. So I'm actually quite surprised on how this actually worked with me today. I'm very surprised on how resilient they are and, and just how well it actually, like, you know, lays on the crease of my eye. Very, very interesting. Oh, wow. So I like that. So I hope that, like, you know, Bishido will develop a much more shorter type of a bristle on a brush head and i think that can be like you know used to add soft definition on the socket line of the eye so um yeah i do hope that they do create one more because if i remember uh correctly there's only one um blending brush available from the future series so this is a surprise i love this okay so now i have the fu eb brush so this is the eyebrow brush and i actually don't use a lot of like you know liquid eyebrow products i don't use a lot of eyebrow gels i still prefer to use um like you know pencils so what i'm going to do first is um, i'm going to be using the um, mascara brush and i'm just going to add some eyebrow product on my brows first so that we can just see if this if the um, eyebrow brush is able to blend out eyebrow products but you know i'm sure it will do the job nicely okay so it's here now and i'm just going to brush it and i can see that the brush head is actually able to um, blend out the product it's also able to soften out the edges which i actually like and i do love on how like you know it, it creates a very precise um, line on the brows although you don't see it because i'm very like you know light-handed with my brow application but it really does the job and um, it's quite strong as well 
So I guess I have to be very careful when I am using this because um, I might um, remove more product than necessary. And I love how thin the tips of this brush head is. So this will really help to get in between those like, you know, um, hairs of yours. And I love this mascara wand as well. They're, it's very, very strong. It's able to brush through my brows. And I have very thick brows and it's also able to help me like, you know, angle my hair on my eyebrows. Love it. Wow. Okay, now I'm going to apply some gel eyeliner and I'm going to be using the eyebrow brush. Um, this will actually work very well as an eyeliner brush as well because the tips are quite, like, you know, not sharp, but they're quite thin. So it's actually able to get in between those eyelashes of ours and because of the angle here at the base of the eyebrow brush you're actually able to get into like you know hard to reach areas of the eye so i'm actually quite happy with that but um truthfully though because this is designed to um like you know be used for eyebrows so i think basing on how i feel these brush heads um the eyeliner brush might just be a little bit more softer and more comfortable to use on this, the sensitive portions of your upper lash line because I can feel a little bit of some prickling sensation with this but then again I'm using a brush that's actually designed to be used for something else and of course as an eyebrow brush it needs to be like you know stiffer because you really need to work the product well into the brows but again i'm very happy with this brush it did pick up a very nice amount of um, eyeliner gel and it delivered it extremely well on the on the lash line mm -hmm. not bad at all i love that and let's get the smudger brush and let's just smudge it okay the smudger brush feels very very soft i don't feel any prickling sensation at all but if you have like you know sensitive eyelids or sensitive skin in general um having synthetic hair makeup brushes can like you know they can work for you or they can't because sometimes synthetic bristles um they tend to be very sharp at the tip so they make you even more sensitive and that's why it um like you know you you can see that as you continue to use it your skin becomes red and that's because the bristles of the brush is actually causing your skin some irritation so not unless if your sensitive skin can handle synthetic brushes try to um use natural bristle brushes instead okay but i do have to say though that um you know this is a smudger brush um, it doesn't have the same strength as the eyebrow brush. So I think my hunch was correct wherein um, the eyebrow brush actually is more, like, you know, it's stronger, has more resiliency than maybe the eyeliner brush. Okay, so now I have the Bisiodo Future Lip Brush. So I'm just going to pick up a little bit of the Elevated Glow Highlighter from Lisa Eldridge. I also want to use this like, you know, to add very um, precise highlighter application on the face. And it really does the job. And I love that it has like, you know, a flat tip here because this will really just help to let you apply product in hard to reach areas. So like, you know, the inner corners, especially if you want to be very precise with it, this can be a nice brush to use look at that and you can also use this to apply highlighter here at the top of the lip and i'm sure if you're one of those people who like applying like you know highlighters at the tip of the nose or here along the bridge this could be a good brush to use as well and let's just apply a little bit of that here and spread with your fingers okay not bad <laughs> okay so i'm going to try now this brush with lipstick because of course it's for lips so i'm going to be using this very nice orangey um, toned lipstick today so um i'm gonna start lining my lips now and the reason why i like using like you know square tip brush heads or like in you know, rectangular tip brush heads and i'm applying lipstick is because i can be very detailed with my lipstick application like for example i like to start applying lipstick by applying a very defined line here by my cupid's bow 
and these types of brushes this really helps me to apply product in that part and also one other thing i find it very easy to just you know spread the lipstick product from the outer corner of my lips and then bring it well into my cupid's bow where i meet the line that i applied earlier so this brush head just makes it very easy for me to apply lipstick products and also you know in one sweeping motion i can be very precise with it and it does apply a very nice amount of lip color pigment on the lips so mm. i love this brush and that's the reason why i love using flat tip lip brushes like this for lip application Okay, and lastly, I'm going to try now using the mascara wand to apply some mascara. So I have some of the mascara here at the back of my hand. I'm just loading the brush with this, like really loading it. And the reason why I have to use like, you know, mascara brushes, like, you know, individual wands is that I do not like using um, the wand in the mascara with a multiple number of people because that's just not hygienic. So... Uh, when I say that I have here at least like, you know, five mascara wands, um, that rings true because I use them a lot, like not only for brows, but also for like, you know, mascara. And I like the design of the spoolie here because like, you know, the very short tips here can really help me apply the mascara here in the inner lashes, in the inner corners, which is very difficult. And then... It really helps me when you know when I want to drag my lashes outward and upward as well just to create that very nice like you know lifted lash look and if I change the angle of the mascara wand this can really help me to apply mascara here at the base of my lashes and the wand actually did a very nice job of separating my lashes because sometimes when you apply mascara they tend to clump up and because this has so much strength in the brush head it's actually able to separate your lashes while you're applying the mascaras so this gives your lashes like the ability to become much more like you know fluttery and feathery instead of like you know clumpy and chunky and together so that's actually great in my book okay so i'm gonna apply some of this mascara here on my lower lashes for a more doll like effect okay so look at that it does the job nicely and effectively all right so we have now come to the end of my vlog for today i hope that you guys enjoyed this video of me showing you how i'm going to be using most of my bcudo feature series brushes and i'm really so glad that i decided to get them um because like you know they've been going in and out of my basket at food of beauty for like you know this past few months and um because my workload has changed recently, I'm doing more than one person when I'm working now. So I needed more synthetic head bristle brushes because I work with a lot of cream and liquid eyeshadows and, you know, a lot of liquid highlighters. So again, like, you know, having synthetic brushes for those types of formula is going to be more effective to use because the synthetic fibers can really handle those types of formulas. And I do refuse to use natural bristle brushes for um, like, you know, cream and liquid eyeshadows, especially those that have long wear formulas in them, like, you know, that's a big no-no for me. And also one other thing, I hope that you guys are also happy that I'm able to show you um, a food synthetic brush head version. And if you've been interested in, like, you know, looking for Japanese brushes, but they have synthetic brush heads, I hope that me showing you this Bisudo Future Series can prove helpful and insightful. So that's it for me today. I'm going to let you guys go now because I can hear the rain starting to come down. So if you have any more questions about all of the products that I use today, please leave them down in the comments box and let's have a conversation about it. All right, so I'm going to let you go now. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and I hope that you're having a good day wherever you are. Bye.